Google, with the help of search, has been dominating the past 20 years. I think it's fair to say, in terms of the access, the world's access to information, how we interact and so on. And one of the nerve wracking things for Google, but for the entirety of people in the space is thinking about how are people going to access information? Yeah. Like, like you said, people show up to GPT as a yeah. as a starting point. So is OpenAI going to really take on this thing that Google started 20 years ago, which is how do we get- I find that boring. I, I mean, if, if the <laughs> if the question is, is like, is if we can build a better search engine than Google or whatever, then sure, we should like go, you know, like people should use a better product. But I think that would so understate what this can be. You know, Google shows you like 10 blue links, well, like 13 ads and then 10 blue links. And that's like one way to find information. But the thing that's exciting to me is not that we can go build a better copy of Google search, but that maybe there's just some much better way to help people find and act and on and synthesize information. I actually, I think ChatGPT is that for some use cases and hopefully we'll make it be like that for a lot more use cases. But I don't think it's that interesting to say like, how do we go do a better job of giving you like 10 ranked web pages to look at than what Google does? Maybe it's really interesting to go say, how do we help you get the answer or the information you need? Mm -hmm. How do we help create that in some cases, synthesize that in others or point you to it in, in yet others? Um, but a lot of people have tried to just make a better search engine than Google. And it's, it is a hard technical problem. It is a hard branding problem. It's a hard ecosystem problem. I don't think the world needs another copy of Google. And integrating a chat client, like a chat GPT with a search engine. That's cooler. It's cool, but it's tricky. It's, uh, it's like, if you just do it simply, it's awkward. Because like, if you just shove it in there, yeah, it's all, it can be awkward. As you might guess, we are interested in how to do that well. Mm -hmm. That would be an example of a cool thing. That's not how just like- well. Like a heterogeneous, like integrating- The intersection of LLMs plus search, I don't think anyone has cracked the code on yet. I would love to go do that. I think that would be cool. Yeah. What about the ad side? Have you ever considered monetization? You know, I kind of hate ads just as like an aesthetic choice. Uh, I think ads needed to happen on the internet for a bunch of reasons to get it going. But it's a more mature industry. The world is richer now. I like that people pay for chat GPT and know that the answers they're getting are not influenced by advertisers. There is, I'm sure, there's an ad unit that makes sense for LLMs, and I'm sure there's a way to like participate in the transaction stream in an unbiased way that is okay to do. But it's also easy to think about like the dystopic visions of the future where you ask ChatGPT something and it says, oh, here's, you know, you should think about buying this product or you should yeah. think about, you know, this going here for va or vacation or whatever. And I don't know, like, we have a very simple business model and I like it. And I know that I'm not the product. Like I know I'm paying and that's how the business model works. And when I go use like Twitter or Facebook or Google or any other great product, but ad supported great product, I don't love that. And I think it gets worse, not better in a world with AI. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine AI would be better at showing the best kind of version of ads, not in a dystopic future, but where the ads are for things you actually need. But then does that system always result in the ads driving the kind of stuff that's shown, all that? It's, um, yeah, I think it was a really bold move of Wikipedia not to do advertisements, but then it makes it very challenging on the, on, as a business model. So you're saying the current thing with OpenAI is sustainable from a business perspective? Well, we have to figure out how to grow. But it looks like we're going to figure that out. If the question is, do I think we can have a great business that pays for our compute needs without ads, that I think the answer is yes. Hmm. Well, that's promising.
I also just don't want to completely throw out ads as a. I'm not saying that. I, I I'm. I guess I'm saying I have a bias against them. Yeah, as or I have a also a bias and just a skepticism in general. And in terms of interface, because I personally just have like a spiritual dislike of crappy interfaces, which is why AdSense when it first came out was a big leap forward versus like animated banners or whatever. But like, it feels like there should be many more leaps forward in advertisement that doesn't interfere with the consumption of the content and doesn't interfere in the big fundamental way, which is like what you were saying. Like it will uh, manipulate the truth to suit the advertisers.